But some Labour critics have been calling it not so much a manifesto as a suicide note. Back to the studio. This isn't the first time a Labour manifesto has been described as a suicide note. I mean, they've done that before with Kinnock. And actually, he lost pretty badly, didn't he? I mean, I've never seen a suicide note so full of hope and opportunity and fairness. You know, I've never heard of a suicide note that mentions decent pay and job security. I mean, it's quite upbeat for a suicide note, is it? Tim, I'm a socialist. It should be no surprise that I fucking love this manifesto. But I'm a loony lefty, aren't I? It is, Tim. It is like travelling back to the 70s, like back when Labour were left-wing. We are going back to the 70s anyway, you know, like back when we weren't in the EU. Back to the 70s, as opposed to the Tory promise of maiming more foxes. Fuck the 70s, most of the Tory policies are back to feudal Britain. Pensioners left to rot and a tax freeze on cognac. C Corbyn's not taking us back to the 70s. He's not going to start making us wear what he wears, you know. It, all Corbyn has done is taken the opportunity of not having a hope in hell and used it to create a manifesto that he truly believes in. And for once in my voting lifetime, there is a true choice to be made. Not just Tory manifesto or a diet Tory manifesto, a socialist manifesto. And it's substantial, it's direct, it's detailed, it's good, and it's pretty well costed. One presumes Diane Abbott had nothing to do with the number crunching. You know, the, the Tories say the numbers don't add up, a bit like every single budget over the last seven years. It, it's this idea that a socialist party spouting socialist ideals has somehow lost the plot. It, Labour's last manifesto was so insubstantial that, that the whole thing was written on a polystyrene slab to give it some weight. The last Conservative manifesto was full of expendable pledges to give away to the Lib Dems. You know, stupid shit like abolishing the Human Rights Act or a referendum on leaving the EU. Shit the Lib Dems are never going to let us get away with. Oops. Th their last manifesto had immigration targets that had been magically pulled out of some civil servant's arse. And they're using exactly the same magic arse this time round too. Their other immigration policy appears to be make this country so fucking shitty that no one wants to live here. One of, one of the main criticisms of, of Corbyn is that that he doesn't fight hard enough. And, you know, I'd call this manifesto fighting talk, a statement of intent. Labour has lost the working classes. Well, I mean, if this isn't an attempt to win them back, I, I don't know what is. A pay rise in the public sector, no more zero hour contracts, a living wage, Trotsky scum, not having your wages undercut because of immigration, fucking great policy. They're trying to attract the working classes, not the liberal elite. And I, for one, don't see the problem with uh, a manifesto that for once acknowledges that being left-wing isn't just a middle-class hobby, but a working-class necessity. Ending homelessness, ending it, fully costed. What a bald, ballsy, tits-out-the-bar thing to say. And the media portray it like they've just announced taxing dementia sufferers. Y yep, go for another, yep. While the campaign trail can be grueling for even the most seasoned of politicians,